Regardless of whether you're thinking at all about fly fishing in Patagonia, even if you just love fly fishing, watch the whole video series. Tons of the experiences I have are going to be applicable to a trout fishery near you. The difference is I'm doing it in January where the dry fly fishing is absolutely incredible during that uh, time of the year. But I think a lot of the things uh, that I experience, you'll be able to appreciate whether you're thinking about doing or have done this trip or not. Now, I'm super fishing focused. It's just me and a GoPro, maybe a little help from time to time, you know, filming these experiences. What I fail to capture really is that spirit and the ambiance of what it's like fishing in Chilean Patagonia, especially with the crews from the Estancia del Zorro and the Cinco Rios Lodges. These guides are great, the people are great, they have a very inspiring culture about them, which I didn't really do a great job of capturing in the video, but just know there is so much more to this experience than just the fishing. That being said, let's jump into the fishing. Day one, we go to a lake that is totally new to me, it was with one of my favorite guides, Ronaldo. It's a very unique lake and it has uh, weeds or reeds along all edges, making massive amounts of insect life and habitat for these brown trout that roam the perimeter of this lake. Follow along, we get some fish on beetles and maybe even a few on a mouse pattern. <laughs> Our main strategy for the day was throwing large beetle patterns up near the weeds and skating, skittering, and twitching them out away from the weeds, dry fly only. Yeah. Nice fish. Nice Thank one, Chris. You. Thank you. Awesome. That was a great eat. Yeah, that was so good. Oh, dude, he came off. Dang, dude, that was a slab. That was a nice fish, <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. If you watch closely here, you'll see a big splash, and that's okay, there's a brown one. trout. Oh, look at that right there. Fly. We immediately gasped those. That was a nice strike. Chris, I'll race you to him. All right. Now, he was going to the right. That's a good cast. Somebody's going to hook that fish. That was awesome. The fish just jumped twice. Oh, there it is right there. You got him. Great job, Chris. That was awesome. I better get out of there. Nice. What a cool, what a cool take. Cool take. That was awesome. I think that's a different fish. Yeah. That's not it's the same fish. The smaller guy. Yeah. Maybe you can get his big brother. All right, we've switched things up a little bit. So far, we fished a few different flies, but now we're going with a mouse. Ronaldo says the mouse is, is going to crush it. Yeah. So, anyway, we're going to switch up to a mouse. Chris has been on fire just fishing uh, be <laughs> standard beetle pattern. And uh, I've hooked up a couple. And uh, yeah, it's been really, really fun. Just again, just cruising the lake shore and cruising these edges and just hunting these fish that are lurking right tight to the weeds. But we're going to work just for, an, I don't know, maybe we'll get fish, maybe not. As a novelty, we're going to fish a mouse pattern and throw it right up against the logs and the sticks, the brush, and just swim that mouse out off the shore. What you're seeing here was a trout took a big swipe at a dragonfly out of the air, and I immediately yes. threw my mouse him. over Pinned there, him. hoping to catch it. On the mouse! That was awesome. That was Chris cool. might have spoon fed me that one. That was so cool. Yeah, and I just, I on that mouse, I miss them all the time, so I strip set that. Oh, that was awesome. I didn't see that. 
Yeah, so I, st I just strip, I strip set it until I had him because I lift. Mice can be, they can be hard to hook. That's a little bigger fish there. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little bigger fish. Nice job, Joe. Thanks. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's a good one there. Nice cast. A lot of wind help. There he is, nice. Oh, that was awesome, Chris. Thank you. That was a great strike. Nice. Nice job. Thanks, that was a great eat. It was right along that grass right there. <laughs> this is so much fun. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Let me get out of your way here. I think you're okay. He's right there. That's a nice fish. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Man, Chris, on the dry fly, I'm baby. Taking. Yeah. It's a beauty. That's a big fish. That's a good one. Yeah, Chris. Take it. Nice. Awesome. Like that take was just classic lazy brown trout. We're gonna need to get in there, I think, Ronnie. Uh, uh, right in those weeds, man. It'd be so easy to break them off right there. That's a strong fish. Yeah. There we go, got him. Yeah. Nice, awesome, man. On the old beetle. And I let him eat it, man. It was like a, just a slow sip right there on that beetle tied by Ronald. Dude, nice one. Yeah, thank you. Dude, nice one, Chris. Man, I'm gonna try to get a double one. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna fish it, yeah. Yeah, you get that one. I'll see if I can get... Well, milk it for a second. Give, you got to give me more than I'm two so seconds. Sorry, so sorry. <laughs> we're never gonna get it. We're never gonna get a double like fight of like that. My apologies. <laughs> that was awesome. I love that. I lo it was ready to come in. Yeah, well, maybe I need to. Maybe the problem isn't you. It's far from you. Maybe the problem is me on getting the doubles. There's a nice fish. Oh, oh that's a good one. God, he's got me all hung up in those weeds, Ronald, but I still got him. We got to get in there pretty fast. Yeah, he just, he ran around the back side of those bigger reeds. I can see him moving those reeds, so I know my line's wrapped all the way around it and he's still on. Yeah, you wrapped me right around that. He's still he's still on there. Yeah, I can feel him. Chris, I might have to come up and share the bow with you for a sec. Yeah, I can switch back to the back if you want. Oh, that's fine. I just need to get up here to. Oh, we're gonna get him right here. Oh, come on, buddy.
definitely still on. Oh man. Figure out which one it's wrapped around. There we go. Nope. Nothing. Duh. I wish you could, I wish I had like a tip or something I could say that you could do something about that that you just can't. I mean, these fish we cast right up in these reeds and they will just cut right in behind that. I thought sure that fish was still on there, but flies gone and everything, huh? Oh, bummer. That was such a sweet take too. That was a beauty. Yeah, that was a nice fish. That was all right. I'll take that. Yeah. Get my get my ass kicked by a brown trout on a dry fly out here on this lake. Fishing these weedy edges like this. This habitat is so flipping cool. It's just you look down in the water, and even though we're right by those weeds, it's like, oh, I mean, it's six or eight feet deep, but it's a dark bottom, but the water's crystal clear in there. It's just beautiful. <laughs> there it is. Oh, let's get a good release shot of him, Ronald. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Hey, that's my first fish, finally. I got one. First fish for Patagonia 2024. Got a brown trout right here in this kind of this. Yeah, there he goes right through the weed, just slithering right through the weeds. Uh, that is so cool, catching them in all this habitat in here. The lake fishing is uh, definitely one of the highlights of coming down here. Oh, this is awesome. We're back here in the slough after landing that fish. Be yeah, look at this. We gotta get in. Here, you want me to net? Here, I can net him from out front. Yeah. I'll just walk through the grass here. No, I got to deep. It gets deep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I'm feeling it. Oh shit, Chris, I can't quite get there. No, that's okay. No, I might be able to if I move down. Is he stuck in the grass? I still got him. I think I can get him. Oh. I think I can get him. He's right here. I'm gonna have to move your line a little bit, okay? He's off. He's off? Yeah. Oh, okay, your line was that was nuts. Your line was Crazy. your line was so wrapped up in the weeds <laughs> that I had to try to bump it off there. That was it's a madhouse. This place, this place is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> Look at that scenery too. Oh, this is awesome, man. There's your net. I'm gonna need a hand back. I'm gonna need a hand getting back in the boat. Oh, right there, right there. Oh yeah, you got him. <laughs> that was awesome. Dude, good job. You had to scoot it forward and you were right at the back of your hook set. Oh, dang. <laughs> that was great, man. That was a really cool strike. Yeah. There he is on the mouse. Oh, lost him. Dang. That was the second one hooked on a mouse. I had him hooked pretty good too. He just, he just came unpinned. A little act more active right in this area. There's just something cool about swimming that mouse and chattering it and skittering it and it. yeah, because they don't yeah they don't really take it soft, you know. That I haven't had a refusal yet. You know, both fish that have eaten it have eaten it wholeheartedly. That would be a big deal. Yeah, exactly. I just love putting it right up in the grass like that. Sliding that thing back out. I, I'm i shocked I haven't got one, you know, off one of these logs. We haven't really got many off the logs, you know that? There hasn't been any more fish along there, right there. Oh, that was sick. God, man, I called and I was like, we haven't gotten any off the logs. Of course, got one on the mouse. Nice. Yes, sir. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, caught on that mouse right there. Beautiful brown. Slithered it right off that set of logs. That is too much fun. Oh my gosh. 
that was a really good strike. Especially the fact that it's, it's like, obviously, you could see it's bright sunlight. Now that the sun's getting way overhead, you get to see that whole like shark oh, take, like, like right behind the mouse. I think I got that is too much fun. Yeah, I'm sure most. Of, yeah, I say most. There we go. Got it. Okay. Yep. I gotta go for it. It was just right there, Chris. Try the outer layer. Yeah, Chris. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Nice job. You just slip that beetle right in between the floating weeds and the reed line, huh? It's a better cast too. Yeah, that's a great fish. Pretty color. Yeah. Oh, good, nice one. Oh, that is just awesome. What a gorgeous fish. Yeah, great congratulations, man. Thank Especially you. on a drive. There he goes. <laughs> yeah, they love these weeds. Good job, yeah, that was a nice <laughs> All right, halftime report. Uh, just got done with a beautiful lunch that Ronaldo put together for us. Uh, tried to catch a couple of trout in the slough there. I was uh, largely unsuccessful at that. Chris has been putting on a clinic today. <laughs> he has about a dozen fish. It's been unbelievable. He's got about a dozen fish to my, I think I've got two or three. Uh, but yeah, it's been very exciting. Uh, a lot of fun placing those dry flies very close to the shoreline. Can't imagine a more exciting way to fish. It's beautiful out, and uh, we're gonna go do the second half of the day out here. We're just gonna fish a couple more hours, and uh, we're switching it up a little bit. Chris is gonna switch over to the mouse. Let's take a look at that guy. So he's gonna switch to that mouse pattern, and uh, I'm gonna take over um, beetle patrol. Uh, the beetle has been, you know, the most effective uh, thing that we've done, and uh, so I'm gonna run uh, the beetle and. Chris will fish the mouse this afternoon. Just hoping for a couple more trout uh, before we head back to the lodge. It's uh, three o'clock now and we've already had a very satisfying day. We'll probably fish till, I don't know, 5.30 or so and then head home. So let's see if we can go get a couple more fish before we're done today. Punch one way up, way up under those trees. That was awesome, Chris. Thank you. On the yeah, mouse. Thank you. First mouse ever. That's your first fish on a mouse. Ever. That was such a great take. I, oh I think my. I pseudo scripted pseudo. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's a good brown too. Yeah, buddy. In the net. Uh, yeah. There, let's see it. Nice. Good job. Let's see here. Let me get just a look at that fly. Wow, look at that. Beautiful brown. Mousing, baby. Thank you, Mousin. sir. I love it. Beautiful. Beautiful brown. Chris on a mouse. <laughs> Heck yeah. Nice strike. It's funny. I like felt him on obviously and then all of a sudden the pressure was constant yeah not moving yeah he ran your that's a nice fish oh, oh dang no. dang man that was a nice take too i had him pinned for there he came back i got him right. dude no way that was so freaking cool i mean i i stuck him for a second yeah baby that's the first fish that we've thrown back at today. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was really cool. Yeah, 
pinned him for just a second. Oh, look at the model color. Yeah, look at that. that's a good fish. He came undone already. So cool. Nice fish. Love it. Good release. He fought his way out. Yeah, hand tied guide fly. A little blue on the belly. The fly hasn't seemed to make that much of a difference, though. I don't think today. It's just a matter of staying persistent and just moving that dry fly along the reeds. Encore. Man, we're not done yet. What's going on? Uh, He's running at you. <laughs> yeah, that was terrible. Oh, that was awesome. Terrible. Do you think, I don't know that that was the same fish. No. No, no I don't no. think it Different was. Different fish. Yeah. Brother. We haven't reached the other one yet. Yeah, Chris. It was yeah. unbelievable. Nice job. That's a big one, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah, that was so uh, awesome right at the end of the day. Look at that. Look Going at that. For a different Look fish. at that fish. Man, maybe that was the same fish because that looks about the same size. I mean, that's a five pound brown right there. Beautiful. Wow, on that beetle pattern again. Ooh, oh, nice job. Gosh, so awesome. I can't believe it. Congratulations, man. Thank you so much. That's just a horse right there. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful fish. All right, that's a wrap. Chris got a fabulous fish. Chris got a fabulous fish at the very end of the day. Another one on a terrestrial. The biggest fish we landed today it was awesome. Released it right here behind us just as we were coming into the channel. And now we're uh, pushing the boat uh, back through into the slough here to where we started and where we take out right over there. Quite a day on mice and beetles and just a wonderful day here in Patagonia. Great start to the week.